They see me, they know that every day when I'm breathing, it's, it's, it's for us to go farther, you know? Every time I speak, I want the truth to come out, you know what I'm saying? Every time I speak, I want to shiver, you know? I don't want them to be like, they know what I'm going to say because it's polite. They know what I'm going to say. And even if I get in trouble, you know what I'm saying? That Ain't that what we're supposed to do? It's, I'm not saying I'm going to rule the world or I'm going to change the world, but I guarantee that I will spark the, the, the brain that will change the world. And that's our job, is to spark somebody else watching us. We, we might not be the ones, but let's not be selfish, and because we're not going to change the world, let's not talk about how we should change it. I don't know how to change it, but I know if I keep talking about how dirty it is out here, somebody's going to clean it up. Greetings to all gang affiliated members. We are anonymous. For years, a war has been raging within the urban streets of the United States. It was not until the events of Ferguson and Baltimore when this war ceased. Before we speak any further, we are not declaring a war against the Crips, the Bloods, or any other gang affiliated members. Nor are we asking them, or you, to do X. This message is aimed at those who have not been informed of a truce. A truce between the Bloods and the Crips. We are here to send a message of reason to those who have not heard of the Crips and Bloods standing shoulder to shoulder with the common man in the streets of Baltimore and Ferguson. From now on, the Bloods and the Crips are not considered gangs, but rather than freedom fighters. Riddings come in poverty off the streets as they now claim to serve and protect bringing about knowledge, and a positive change. We encourage other rival gangs, such as Nietas, and Latin Kings, to do the same, in order to unify with one another, and to stand alongside, with the common man, and to fix the system, that the powers that be, have broken, in order to exploit you, and your family, by no means, that this message, is a call to arms against a system that has not only blemished society, but has not listened to the people's demands. As we have stated for many years, we are not ordering anyone to do X, Y, and Z. We are only here to inform you of the truth to what we have seen, specifically, for other gangs that have bitter rivalries. The actions the Crips and Bloods have taken in Ferguson and Baltimore are prominent in battling the last problem the United States holds. Hence, we highly encourage others who are so-called gang-affiliated to do the same. Whether you are an individual or a gang member, we must stop the war on the streets and with each other in order to focus our time and efforts to those that are barely getting by. To jump to the point, this message is delivered to you by a common citizen. We are you, and you, are us. We seek the best future for our children, for yours, and for others. We ask those who have enemies, to forge a truce of honor, for the sake of your future, and your grandchildren's future, for all of our families, fighting with one another, has gotten us, no, where, the Crips and Bloods, have witnessed that through and through, it only gives the figureheads, even more leverage, to oppress the individual trying to get an education, trying to get a job, or trying to communicate with others. For so many years, citizens, have seen gang members as scum. We are entering a period in this generation, where gangs, are converting into freedom fighters. Ever since the truce these two groups have placed on the table, the United States has steadily decreased in crime. 
Thus, we, are finally, after many years of arguing and bickering over needs and territory, are finally looking at the source, the problem, the root, we, have a voice, and one voice, can shatter the world, Martin Luther King, Tupac, Muhammad Ouazizai, and Malala, have proven such a feat, together, we can bring the necessary change, and a stable balance of power, between government, and citizenry, cooperation, is the key, the Arab Springs movement, is one example of unison, that, many may call it, a failed revolution, respectively, learning from their mistakes, the citizens from the United States are more than willing to coordinate a plan of action, if there ever needs one, ever since the Crips and Bloods have united and have focused their efforts in aiding the common citizen, the last piece of the puzzle, has been finally solved, concerning the problem within society, if America ever has an uprising, it will have never have happened, if it was not for the truce between these two groups, the Bloods and the Crips, have shook hands, again, other gangs, must take note of this, we must stop facing one another, and face the true root of the problem, the source, we stand shoulder to shoulder with all gang affiliated members looking for a positive change, we are, the common citizen, we never forgive, we never forget, and as always, remain anonymous.